Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Roxana. Hello. Good evening. Eh, disculpe, Hello, teacher, hoy no voy a poder activar cámara, pero aquí voy a estar. Ok, ok. Thank you. Okay. Hey, how are you? Are you ready for the last class of this week? I hope yes. Are you tired? No. No yet. Mm -hmm. No. So. So so. Okay, so let's Pero, start. ¿Qué dijo? <laughs> Are you tired? Cansado. Ah, so so. No, no yet. Until tomorrow, because tomorrow is Friday. Yes. <laughs> okay. Adrián Erasmo. Ana Beatriz. Presente, teacher. Presente. Okay. Ana. Andrea Cecilia. Brenda Guadalupe. Brenda Isabel. Carlos Ricardo. Present. Excelente. Carlos Roberto. Present. Excelente. Cecia Beatriz. Darren Present. Stephanie. Ok. Present. Ok. Denis Giovanni. Edith Vanessa. Present, teacher. Ok. Present. Excellent. Fatima Margarita. Present. Ok. Flavio. Present. Ok. Gabriela Maribel. Carla Susena. Carla Vanessa. Luis de Nilsson. Present. Excellent. Marvin Alexander. Miguel Antonio. Present. Okay. Nancy Yacel. Present. Excellent. Nancy Soledad. Nora Eloisa, Pamela Noemí, present, ok, Raquel Abigail, Richard Joel, present, ok, Robert Adalberto, Ronnie Alexander, Present. Ok. Roxana. Present. Ok. Jamie. Jamie Marisol. Present. Ok. Hey, today 
we are going to make a short review about the topics of yesterday. We started yesterday. Perdón, teacher, pero me acabo de unir para que me ponga en la lista. Ok, Andrea. Gabriel, no. Ok. Ok, let's make a short review. Let us start with the sports, okay, because it's part of the topic. Okay, I'm going to um, mark one, one picture and you are going to tell me the name of the sport. This is a review because we already uh, did this part. We have new sports here, but I think you can you can guess. Okay. And let me okay, let's try. Uh Jamie Marisol. What sport is this? Is bed. I know. <laughs> Let me see. Volleyball. No, it's baseball. Baseball. Okay, Andrea, Cecilia, this one. Andrea. Volleyball. Okay, volleyball. Roxana, this one. What teacher? Number nine. Ah, uh, it's golf. Okay. Wait a minute. Here. Um, hey, Carlos Ricardo, this one, number six. Mm, ver. Mm, no sé cómo se llama. It's climbing, climbing. Wait, sorry. And what about this number four? Mm, boxing. Boxing. Okay, boxing. Thank you. Edit number eight. American football. Okay, American football. Yes, correct. Let's see. Ah, uh, here one is missing. Number three, Dennis. Number three. Yes, Dennis. Um. No, no, no sé. Ese sí lo vimos. Um, I do not remember. Skin. Skin. This one. Skin. Yes. Ok, Adrián Erasmo, number 11. Where? Which one? Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. Bowling. 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 Okay, Richard Joel, number 17. Baseball? Oh, but what? Basketball. 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 Okay, I think we need a review of this part. And Flavio, number 12. It will be twelve. Ah, uh, it's a uh, is <laughs> mm, running. It's riding or cycling. Mm. Vaya, mejor let's make the review complete. Okay, we have volleyball, okay, running, skiing, boxing, baseball, climbing, y este que sería rock climbing. Um, this is table tennis, table tennis or ping pong. We have American football, golf, surfing, bowling, cycling, soccer. Uh, hockey, a uh, hockey. This is a uh, badminton, tennis, basketball, gymnastics, swimming, and rugby. Rugby. This is rugby. The last one. Okay. This is a review, supposedly. Questions about it? Una pregunta. El rugby, ¿qué es exactamente? Rugby, it's a combination of American football and I think, um, bueno, no, no sé exactamente qué deporte se combinan. Pero siempre es con la pelota, la pasan, es violento, un poco violento. Eh, igual está en una cancha. Eh, I, I don't know exactly. There is a movie with Matt Damon. He's a player of rugby. But I don't know exactly the rules or how to play. Okay. I only know the, the general thing. And it's a, se juega también, it's a team sport. It's, I, I don't remember the name of the country, but yes, I will find the, the movie, the name of the movie. Okay, luego vimos Mm, some collocations. Me recuerdo que vimos play and go, pero nos hizo falta do. Esta no les aparecían ejemplos ahí en el, en el material, but here we have uh, the examples or more examples. Entonces, recuerdan que dijimos que play la íbamos a usar cuando. Cuando tiene una, un balón, una pelota. Yes, yeah. correct. Even in badminton. Okay, badminton, the ball is very rare, right? But you can play badminton. 
béisbol, básquetbol, fútbol, hockey. También hablamos del hockey. Eh, it's not called ball. Tiene un nombre diferente. I don't remember, but it's different, the name. Eh, they don't call it ball. It's like puck, something like that. Eh, ping pong, soccer, squash, tennis, eh, and volleyball. Then we have for go. Eh, ¿cuál es, ¿Cuándo dijimos que lo íbamos a utilizar? Go. Como cuando son ejercicios en lugares cerrados. Yes. Que, eh, abiertos. In places. Exterior. Yes. Y también dice que if the sports end in ing. Que cuando el de porque implica eh, an, an action to, to move. Entonces tenemos, eh, por ejemplo, bowling, camping, cycling, dancing, fishing, golfing, hiking, ice skating, running, scuba diving, snowboarding, surfing, and swimming. Ok, si se fijan, la mayoría son, eh, lo que les decía, son deportes que se pueden practicar al exterior. Or you need to go into a specialized place to practice. Entonces, los que terminan en ING, que you're going to use, go. And the last category is with do, yes? Perdón. Y también que son como deportes que se realizan individual, por decir así, los otros son en equipo, ¿verdad? También algo. Yes, with play, mm, let's, we have some of them individual uh, or in pairs, like tennis and uh, badminton, I think. Pero sí, son como más de, I, I don't know, they, they, they are different. Ajá, ah, no okay. son como team sport, correct. Uh -huh. Ajá, no son, well, bowling, I don't know, but bowling, I think, yes, it's a kind of uh, team sport, but also you can play it individual. Okay, yes, cycling. It's, yes, it's individual. And the last one is do. Dice sports or activities without ball. Okay, without ball. Entonces tenemos with ball, without ball, and ing ending. Okay, esas serían como las tres formas más fáciles en la que usted puede detectar cuando va a utilizar el, el verbo, ya sea go, do, or play. So we have do aerobics, do exercise, do push-ups, do sit-ups, sit do yoga, do a warm-up. Okay, this is do. Eh, cuando no van a utilizar una ball, without ball. Okay, eso sería como otro review. And, en, el caso, yes? en el caso de boxing, ¿dónde quedaría? ¿En go, do o play? And do. Um, boxing, no, because it's ing, go boxing. Because it's ending in ing. Boxing. Uh -huh. Play no puede ser porque no usa ball. Okay. More questions? Not sure. No. Creo que no está swimming, pero go así ah, sí, al final. 
eh, scuba diving, que es aquí, creo que leí, scuba diving, snowboarding, surfing, and swimming. Ok. And this is the topic for today. Ok, today we are, um, but wait, before this part, we have more exercises to do here. Okay, these questions, they are not on the platform, but we can practice more about double H questions. So we are going to uh, well, you are going to tell me what question corresponds. Esta no lo hicimos, ¿verdad? Porque eso lo hicimos este de las conversations. Okay. So the example says, um, what sports do you like? I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. Okay, let's see the next. See the answer. It says, I usually play with my sister and some friends. Okay, what or uh, yes, what could be the question? Okay, como podría ir? Me, teacher? Yes, I tell try. me, Richard. Who do you like sport with? Okay, wait. Repeat, please. Who do you like sport with? Who do you like? Um, no. Who do you like? You, uh, no. Who do you play sport with? Who do you play sport with? Okay, I see. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Y dice la respuesta, I usually play with my sister and some friends. Okay, I think eh, estamos como es la misma conversación y estamos hablando o la última respuesta fue volleyball. Y okay, we can add this information. Okay, who do you? Y como en la respuesta está usando usually, we can add this part here. Who do you? usually play volleyball with yes it sounds correct to you what do you think pero la double h word si sí estamos correcta que sería who and who with and let's see the next we practice on saturdays okay cual podría ser la double h word when okay when do you, mm -hmm. do you play volleyball play are you sure uh -huh. when do you practice when do you practice, when do you practice? When do you practice volleyball or when do you practice? Y sabemos que estamos with the same idea. When do you practice volleyball? Okay, we practice on Saturdays. Um, yes. Vaya, solo tengan en cuenta que como en la respuesta tenemos we, este you no sería la segunda persona del singular, sino que se refiere a uh, you en plural, ¿verdad? La persona con la que está hablando, the sister and the friends, all of them, because all of them go to play. So the, the question is about all of them. Okay, when do you mm, practice? Dejámoslo without volleyball. Okay next 
We start at about noon. Okay, double H word. What? what time do? What time do you practice? Do you start? What time do you start practice? Start. Or Yes, right. Tengo un bloqueo. Practice. Okay. What time do you start? Practice. And the last one, we usually play in our yard, but sometimes we play at the beach. Where? Where? Okay. Where? Do you? Okay. Do you? Usually. Usually. Play. Play. Thank you. Okay. Where do you usually play? We usually play in our yard, but sometimes we play at the beach. Yes. Okay, correct. ¿Cómo sintieron esta parte? No tan difícil, pero... It was good? No difficult? Mm. <laughs> okay. ¿Qué cree que le... What, what, what did you feel difficult? No. Tal vez identificar qué, qué poner en el sentido de qué, qué, qué WH hay que la do, poner. La WH word. Mm. Recuerde que cada una tenía como, como cuándo la íbamos a usar. Sí, un significado, claro. Entonces, pero más que un significado es eh, identificar cua, eh, cuándo se usa. Entonces, por ejemplo, si hablamos de tiempo, o sea, yo identifico que voy a usar what time. Y si hablamos de un lugar, sabemos que voy a usar where. Y, y así, porque que you, you have to try don't to think in Spanish. So you, you need to change your, uh, try to, to change your mind to think in English. No pensando en qué significa la palabra, sino cuándo la vamos a utilizar. Entonces, okay. uh -huh. it's an advice. Okay, okay. Okay, now, yes? A mí, ajá, el identificar tal vez la, 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 la pregunta, ¿no? Sino que, por ejemplo, ¿Cómo el, el, el usually, ajá, como el usually, el lot, lot of, no sé cómo se llama. Los auxiliares, el por ejemplo. Uh -huh. Eso un poco se me disputó. Ajá. Ok. Muy bien. Ahí este, recuerden que vimos como la structure. Iba la doble word, después iba el, el auxiliar que podría ser do o podría ser das. En este caso, como era una misma conversación con la misma persona, no cambiamos auxiliar y porque siempre el sujeto era you. Eh, y el usually, si lo ven en la respuesta, por lo general tienen que usarlo en la pregunta. ¿Ok? Y si sí, el verbo, si sí, quizás está, well, sometimes it's appear. Ok, we have practice, start, play. Mm, no, I think always. Play and uh, like. Ah, quiero ver. No, play. Uh -huh. okay. El verbo también lo da en la respuesta. Y luego se seguiría el complement. 
que, que en este caso es como de, eh, un poquito de en algunos en estos no les pusimos complement ok solo pusimos the double edged word the um, do or does que era el auxiliary the subject and the verb ok y no le pusimos complement porque, digamos, como es la misma conversación, it's in, in the same ideas, following the same ideas. Only an, on the first one, I think. Okay, pero try to, to follow the structure. Y después, si se fijan, en todas es la misma. Double H word, double H word, double H word, double H word. Auxiliary, subject, verb. Now let's continue. We have the conversation. Okay. Now, yes. It illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I can't sing. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Now let's analyze the exam this chart. Can for ability. Okay. So I have volunteers to practice the conversation. Maybe, sir. Okay, Jamie and. Okay, go. Empiezo yo o él. You, Jamie. Okay. Okay. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't. I can't sing. Sing or. Oh. Sing a roll. But I can't play the can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Oh, let's practice tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Okay, remember the pronunciation. Ahorita la meta, pronunciation of can and can't. Can and can't. Okay, two more volunteers, please. Me. Okay, Edith and Adrián, I think. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't. Enter a talent context and what can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the context sure why not okay let's practice tomorrow okay thank you the last two volunteers me teacher okay 
and one more, please. Yo. Thank you. Okay. Oh, look, there's a talent contest. Oh, Saturday, let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can't play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. So why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Okay, tenemos, this one is sure, sure. 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 Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Muy bien. Y el, para la primera. Al, al, ¿Cómo era, teacher? At all. At all. At all. I can't sing at all. Okay. Que el at all es para nada. I can't sing at all. Para la pronunciación de can es casi como el can de la Barbie. Can. Okay. With uh, sounds like an E. Okay, remember. Okay, now. Y el no puedo eh, pronunciar. Can. Con, con la T al final. Yes, aquí está. Can't. Sí, y por ahí, on the video, ahí hay un video en la plataforma que les dice que pueden hacerlo como más largo. This part, el can't. Okay. We are going to use can to talk well. Can has many um, uses. Okay, it's a modal verb. Well, can is a verb. It's a verb, but it's also used as a modal verb. Okay, a modal verb um, es como un verbo auxiliar, okay, que podemos utilizar no como el verbo principal de la oración, okay, pero sí eh, nos va a dar cierto significado. In this case, we are going to use, well, it, the, the, those are the different uses. Todos estos son lo, las formas o cuándo es que podemos utilizarlo. Okay, but we are going to focus on, to talk about an ability. Okay, ability is something that you can do. That's an ability. Okay, for example, uh, one of your abilities is that you can speak in English. Okay, that's one ability. Okay, also you are going to use can to make request. Okay, request when you need something. Okay, hacemos una request, una petición. Can you hand me the pen, please? Okay. Cuando necesitamos que alguien nos haga algo o nos ayude con algo. That's a request. Also, we can offer help. Can I help you? Okay. Can I? Eh, or can you? No. Can I? Porque estamos ofreciendo nosotros. Can I clean the table? 
Okay. Can I dish, uh, wash the dishes? Also, it can express a possibility. Okay. Um, una posibilidad. Smoking can cause cancer. And you can express permission, but in an informal way. Okay, in una forma informal. And for example, can I use your book, please? Okay, este es como para pedir permiso, pero de manera como casual, informal. Can I borrow this uh, pencil for a minute? Okay, entonces esos serían, digamos, los usos. And, but we are going to focus uh, to talk about the abilities. Abilities. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Yes. Uh, El offer and can I help you? Significa que en qué te puedo ayudar. Yes. Y cómo hago para decir me podrías ayudar o me ayudas o me ayuda. Sería una request, sería una petición. Can you help me? Can you help me? Uh -huh. yes. ah, okay. Sería este formato de aquí. Es. Solo que cambiaríamos. Ok, hand es alcanzar. Ok, can you hand me the pen? Me podrías alcanzar el lapicero. Pero en nuestro caso, como queremos este pedir ayuda, can you help me? Y luego eh, podríamos añadir la actividad, la acción o lo que necesitamos eh, que nos ayuden a hacer. But it's can you. Porque estamos pidiendo. Entonces sería, can you help me? Aquí cambia como el objeto y el sujeto, ¿verdad? Y para cuando ofrecemos es, can I? Can I help you? Y cuando necesitamos, can you help me? Can you help me? Es de identificar como los objetos. Me refiero... Yeah, yeah. Do, uh, quien, en quien recae la, la acción. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok. You're welcome. And then we have some examples. Ok. Aquí vamos, estamos usando can, pero vamos a usar también La, los colocations que vimos de play, go, and do. Okay, so tell me, please. Number one, can you hear? Do. Play, play, play. Can you play hockey? Can she? Esta? Ski. Oh. Yes. Mm. Skinny. King. Mm, okay, skin. King, yes. Can they? Practice. Mm. Seguro. Do. Do. Okay. Can. Can. Can you jump? Can Tom in this one? Go riding. Cycling. Well, es que podría ser riding a bike, mm. okay, or cycling, cualquiera. Y, y spinning. Spinning, but it is different. In because it's in the gym, but cycling and uh, uh, it's outside and you move, you really move of the place around mm -hmm. the city or up on the mountain. 
Ok, entonces le dejaríamos Ken Tom. Cycling. Sí, cycling. Riding. Riding a bike. Okay. Riding a bicycle. O cycling, cualquiera de las dos. Ok, this one. Can he play, play. play tennis? Okay, play tennis with double S. No, right. Yes. Okay. Mm, the last. This part. Oh, sorry. This one, next part. Can. Can do. Do. Mm, pero falta algo. She. Yes. She do. Can, Can she, she do. do. Gymnastics. Gymnastics. Yes, she. she can. ¿Cómo? She can. Yes, she can. Okay, can he? Esa no la vimos, creo. Do you know? No. This is skate. Um, can play. Can he? Skate. Can he do? Can Go. he do skate? Go. Que skating. Sí, sí. I rise slime skating. Slime skate. Porque son como los de línea. Okay. Can he line skating? Yes. He can. Yes, he can. He can. Can they do? Can they do? Can they dance? That's fine. Yes, they. They can. can. Yes, they can. Teacher, y en esa de, de la line escape, no uh -huh. va el tubo. Can he? Mm, no. no. Como termina en ING sería go, pero... Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Can he? But in this case, I think no. En el primero quiero ver que en she. En el caso de, vaya, aquí en gymnastic, sí se lo agregamos, porque digamos que gymnastics es como, sí es el verbo, pero también es como la rama del de, el, el deporte, por así decirlo. Entonces, por eso necesitamos agregar el do. En cambio, en estos otros casos, va implícito la acción. Que la, o sea, porque lleva, en este caso, lleva el ING. Entonces, no necesito agregar un auxiliary porque digamos que ya va implícito que está haciendo. Ah, ok, ok, ya, uh -huh. ya, ya. Uh -huh. Igual que. Can they dance? Ok, ah, no, no necesitamos poner do porque ya va, va como conectado de, de una sola vez con el sujeto que el sujeto está realizando esa acción. 
Ok, pero yo no puedo decir she gymnastics only. Pero sí puedo decir eh, they dance and it's linked. And let's do the next. This one. Can he do? Ok. Can he do? Lo mismo que estábamos diciendo, ¿verdad? Okay, no podemos decir only can he karate. No. Can he do karate? Yes. He can. He can. Can. Estas son libres. Can y el sujeto. He play. Can he play? Can he play basketball? Yes. Alison play. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Can you run? Yes, I can. Yes, yes. I, I can. Correct. Muy bien, algo que creo que no les había dicho, pero sí estaba por ahí en la plataforma, es que, ay, sorry, el verbo can, como is an auxiliary, los verbos lo van a seguir en forma infinitiva. Que okay. it's express an ability, but Wait a minute. Okay. Aquí está en esta parte de aquí. Y también está en la plataforma. Okay. va con el verbo en su forma infinitiva o sea en su forma simple y sin importar el sujeto entonces recuerde que habíamos dicho que en simple present en las terceras personas del singular o sea he, she and it y vamos a cambiar los verbos agregándole una es por ejemplo mmm, She plays basketball. Pero si nosotros agregamos el can, ya no es necesario agregar o cambiar el verbo principal. Porque el, el auxiliary o el modal verb que nos está modificando no es ya eh, el sujeto. Entonces solamente decimos, eh, he can sing. Okay, sin hacer ningún cambio, ninguna modificación en el verbo principal. And here we have um, some examples. He can sing very well. Pero también en negativo, ¿verdad? She can't sing at all. He no puede. Can't. Um, then we have the questions en las que vamos a invertir el orden. Vamos a iniciar con can. Y luego el sujeto, can she, y al final el verbo. Can she sing? Can you cook? Okay. Y hablando siempre con, a, o refiriéndonos siempre a abilities. Questions so far. No question. No questions. So, can no you question. give me examples? Can you give me examples, please? Utilizando can. Positive statements, primero. O me van a hacer de un solo los tres. A positive, the same into negative, and then a question. We only have five minutes. So hurry up with your examples. Okay. 
if you have it, tell me. Examples, examples. She can dance. She can dance, pero ya estaba en ese ejemplo. Otro. I can uh, play a soccer. Repeat, please. I can play soccer. Okay, I can play soccer, yes. Hurry up, give me more examples. I can't play basketball. Baseball, okay. I can't play baseball, okay. She can't dance in. She can't dance. Sing L-I-N-G. She okay. can't dance. Okay. She can't dance. Mm. She can dance. Mm -hmm. Sí, ¿verdad? Es que le oí eh, pronunciación de pregunta. ¿Es pregunta o es posible? No, no, no. Es, es posible. Oración. Ok. Mm. She can dance. Ok, she can dance. Yes. Ahora with negative. I don't. Uh, I, no, I can speak, speak English. <laughs> ok. <laughs> But only a, a short time. Later you, you will can. Okay, I can't, I can't and cook. You can't cook, oh my God. Put of your wife. <laughs> I can't baseball, I can't play, play baseball. Okay, I can't play baseball. She can't swim, swim, perdón. She can't swim. Ajá, recuerden que el, el verbo tiene que ir en infinitivo. You can't play American football. You can't play American football. Okay. I can't sing. I can't sing, but it's the same. So give me another, another example. It's the same of the of the book. They can't they can't uh, drive. They can't drive. I can't drive. <laughs> I can't swim. swim. Okay, can't swim. Ahora questions. Preguntas, preguntas. Can she dance? Okay. Sorry, sorry. Continue. Yes, it's correct. Mm. Question. Can you speak English? Can you speak English? Okay. You can dance. Can you? Can you dance? Can you come back? Mm, este es como podrás regresar, algo así. El can you come back. Bueno, por lo general, se, ese se utiliza are you coming back como en un tiempo futuro. Are you coming back como regresarás. Así que ahorita no aplica. Otro. One more. Can you read the news newspaper? Can you read? Mm, okay. Okay. <laughs> Como que sí ya. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, can you read the newspaper? Mm. Sí, ese sería más como te gusta o, o, o okay. disfrutas, algo así. Porque okay. can, estamos enfocándonos en ability. Ability, habilidades más que todo. Can you speak English? Okay. Can you speak English? Okay. Can you play soccer? Can you play soccer? Okay, yes. 
teacher y esta aplicaría. Eh, can you can you open the door? Sí, es una request. Okay. Can you pero tendríamos que agregar a quién. Uh, can you open the door, please? Okay, tendría que ser una request. Ah, ah, uh -huh. okay. como, o sea, vimos como haciendo, haciendo una petición. Sí se puede también, sí se puede. Okay. ok, me faltaba alguien de la attendance. Brenda Guadalupe, Brenda Isabel. Carla Azucena, Carla Vanessa. Pesem. Ok. Ya es Ana Beatriz, ya la había puesto. Eh, Nancy Soledad, Nora Eloisa. Nancy Robert. Present. Ok. Robert. No. Okay, that's all for today. See you tomorrow. Oh no, on Monday. See okay. you on Monday. See you on Monday. Bye bye. Get rest. Bye bye. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. Get rest. Have a nice weekend.